my help has come. Oh, 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 oh. my help has come. Oh, 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 oh. my lifting has come. Ah. Oh. oh, oh. Rise up on your feet. Shall I take a to In the next five minutes, we are going to pray in the spirit. Please be serious. Take the time to pray, generate energy in the spirit. We are praying under a corporate anointing. Lift your voice and begin to pray in the spirit. Lift your voice and begin to pray in the spirit. Shake it he spake a parable to the end that men ought always to pray. Are you praying? Pray in the spirit. And the Hallelujah. Are you ready to pray? Prayer point number one, Psalm 3. Psalm 3, please help us, media. Psalm 3 and verse 1. Lord, how they are they increased that trouble me? Many are they that rise up against me. Verse 2. Many there be which say of my soul, there is no help for you in God. Verse 3. But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, my glory, and the lifter up of my head. Are you ready to pray? Say in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that nothing keeps my head down. In this season, I am lifted supernaturally. Lift your voice and begin to pray. But thou, O Lord, at the shield for me, my glory, the lifter up of my head.
In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Acts chapter 12. Please give it to us quickly. Acts chapter 12 from verse 4. The Bible says that Peter was kept in prison. And the Bible says they kept him in prison intending that after Easter they would bring him out so that the people would kill him. Verse 5. Peter therefore was kept in prison but prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God for him. What happened? And when Herod would have brought him forth the same night, Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, bound with two chains and the keepers before the door that kept the prison. Verse 7. The Bible says, And behold, the angel of the Lord came upon him, and light shined in the prison, and they smote Peter on the side, and raised him up, saying, Arise up quickly. And the chains fell off from his hand. Verse 8. And the angel said unto him, Guard thyself, and bind up thy sandals. And so he did. And he said unto him, Cast thy garment before thee, and follow me. Verse 9. The Bible says, And he went out and followed him, and wist not that it was true which was done by the angel, but he saw as though he was in a vision. 10. Hmm. And when they were past the second, the first gate, there were three gates. The first gate brought him out of the prison. The second gate was midway. And the Bible says they came onto the iron gate that led to the city. Listen to me. This is the gate that stops visibility. There is a gate that stops the visibility of men. It says the gate leads to the city. Your business can be there, but there is an iron gate. Listen. And the Bible says that this gate opened on its own accord. When that gate opens, the next thing you see is the city. It's the gate that controls influence. Are you ready to pray? In the name of Jesus, every gate standing my way of influence and visibility, I declare be broken right now. Lift your voice and pray. He has broken the gates of God and cut the bars of iron in thunder. He has broken the gates of bars and cut the bars of iron in thunder. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Listen to me. We are going to pray against delay. It was the delay of the bridegroom that made the oil of others to finish. If the bridegroom came early, all ten of them will see him. They all had oil, but because the bridegroom delayed, the oil of others finished and they missed out. You are going to pray. Lord, bring speed to my destiny. Bring speed to my life. Lift your voice and pray. Speed to my life. Speed to my destiny. Speed to my life. Speed to my destiny. Speed to my business. Speed to my career. Someone is praying. Pray, pray, outside, pray, online, pray, make the peace in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 
in the name of Jesus. We are still praying over speed. Look at me. Listen. The unit of destiny is time. God can bring you help speedily. Are we together now? Yes. We are going to pray. The Bible says, And the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah. And Elijah ran on barefoot and overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Israel. We are going to pray. Lord, bring speed to my life. Bring speed to my life. Lift your voice and begin to prophesy. Speed, speed, speed. Someone prophesy. Someone declare. Speed to my destiny. Speed to my destiny. Speed to my destiny. Speed to my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Psalm 125, verse 3. Psalm 125, verse 3, please. The Bible says, The rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. Why? Lest the righteous put their hands in iniquity. The rod of the wicked. You are going to command every finger of darkness and evil over your life, your family, your children. You are going to command it to give way. Are you ready? Lift your voice and pray. The rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the Lord of the righteous. Hallelujah. 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 Job chapter 5, please. Job chapter 5 and verse 19. We are praying. Please take this prayer serious. Job chapter 5 and verse 19. Are you ready to read? Want to read with me? He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yea, in seven shall no evil touch you. Number one. Next verse, please. In famine. He shall redeem thee from death and in war from the power of the sword. Next verse. Thou shalt be hid from the scourging tongues of men. Neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. At destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. Neither shalt thou be afraid of the beast of the earth. Why? Listen. It says, For thou shalt be in covenant with the stones of the field that means nobody can use any element of creation to make enchantments against me you use sand you I, I have a covenant with the elements of creation that they will not fight me because I was given dominion over them say in the name of Jesus I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit no enchantment no divination against my life and my destiny shall try lift your voice and pray i am in covenant i am in covenant i am in covenant with the stone i am in covenant I am in covenant with the stone. I am in covenant with the stone. Hallelujah. Praise the name 
name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Second Thessalonians chapter 3 and verse 16. Second Thessalonians chapter 3 and verse 16. Please read with me. Are you ready? One to read. Now the Lord of peace himself give you peace. How long? Always. By all means. If it means clearing the troublemakers out of the way, by all means. If it means making a way, by all means. Lift your voice and say, Lord, by all means, give me peace. 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 By all means, Hallelujah. Isaiah 61. Isaiah 61. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of prison to them that are bound. There are people physically, you see them moving. But in the realm of the spirit, the Bible says that they are bound. Next verse. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God. To comfort all that mourn in Zion. Verse 3. It says to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion to give them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called the trees or the oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord that he might be glorified. Verse 4, I receive it for myself. It says, and they shall build the old waste. They shall raise up the former desolations and shall repair the waste cities and desolations of many generations. Verse 5, and strangers... This is where we are getting to. You don't need to know who will help you. Strangers. And strangers shall stand and feel. Listen, listen, listen. Strangers shall stand and feed your flock. It says, and the sons of aliens or foreigners shall be your plowmen. This was what happened to a man called Mephibosheth. The Bible says, and David said, is there any man in the house of Saul that I may show him kindness for Jonathan's sake? And they called a man called Ziba who had 15 sons. The Bible says he sent him to Lodeba. He said, there is a crippled man called Mephibosheth. Go and fetch the man, the king said. When he came, he said, although you are crippled, even Mephibosheth said, am I a dog that the king will be sending for me? He said the children of Ziba would plow the land for him. He said, but as for you, Mephibosheth, you will eat with me at my table here forever. Keep that scripture there. Listen, this scripture is a deliverance scripture. Stop thinking the miracle will come through the person you know. It's none of your business how God will bring you the breakthrough. Stop troubling your uncle, your auntie. Every time you are saying, God, visit me, your mind is going to a particular person. That real estate man. Leave God to decide who, like a movie director. Let him decide who will come with the blessing. Are you ready to pray? Make decrees in this season. Strangers are feeding my flock. Strangers are feeding my flock. The sons of alien are coming to bless me. Hell, prepare blessings. Rising from everywhere. 
Hallelujah. Two prayer points and we are done. Are you ready to pray? We are going to pray for Nigeria. How many of you know that we owe a responsibility to pray for this nation? You see the happenings around this nation? The church should not be silent. It's not about going around to make all kinds of unguarded statements. Our assignment is to pray. Pray like believers with intelligence. He said, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper who love you. We are going to pray. We cannot fold our arms and allow the devil to continue to destroy people. You heard the testimony of our dear auntie here. The precious daughter just came out of the, her school. And these wicked, evil people entered a car. And that's how they carried her. Killed other innocent people. Whoever digs a pit for you, I stand by my God and I declare they must enter that pit. Hallelujah. Now listen. Haman was plotting the annihilation of the Jews. And he was clearly cooperating with Vashti. And God needed to remove Vashti. And when God brought Esther, Esther forgot her assignment. And she was enjoying the palace. And Mordecai sent a warning. That warning is for all of us every time you hear trouble somewhere don't say it's still far don't make the mistake of esther mordecai said do not think when they are done with us from afar you will be spared the moment you hear that there is trouble anywhere you owe a responsibility to stay the power of hell don't just say i am secured esther knew that if she kept quiet one day they would discover she were a jew and they would kill her and she took the risk i'm going to meet the king even without his invitation if i perish i perish one of the things i'm praying and trusting that god will do to the body of christ is to help us to rise to that point of maturity where we are able to take the corporate burden of the body even if personally there is nothing wrong with us are we together when you hear that there is an accident you don't just say oh the members of my church were protected it is a cry for everybody are we together now you must be able to hide your individualism so that the corporate good of the body will speak so just because nothing happened to your business during the pandemic just because you are okay just because you have security forces around your house does not mean you should negate the fact that our nation needs help as responsible believers part of the ministry of priesthood is to stand and midwife deliverance and say no lord it cannot happen not in our lifetime this kind of evil that plagued the nations we must stand as priests are we together hmm. for a very long time we have been largely very selfish once trouble does not come near you you read the news and say oh that's fine it is them once it is not your child that is kidnapped no problem no we are going to pray in one minute cry to the god of heaven father we declare let the angels be released over nigeria let the angels be released over this nation we declare peace we declare safety 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me make decrees over our lives now. Decrees are powerful. Hallelujah. Prophetic words don't only reveal, they create. They make what is not there to be there. We can call the things that be not and make them to appear. 
we can call the favor that be not and make it appear we can call the lifting that be not and make it appear are you ready to pray in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead every door that has refused to open over your destiny i declare let it be open right now let it be open right now in the name of jesus everywhere the helpers of your destiny are men instructed by god to hold your hand and lift you i don't care where they are across this nation and around the globe i stand by the voice of prophecy and i command them to show up in your life 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 listen to me every strange pattern an occurrence in any family circles of negative things that keep repeating themselves i stand by the god of heaven and i come by the rod of a higher priesthood i break those patterns now and jabez was more honorable than his brethren the bible says the mom bore him in sorrow and named him jabez and for a while things will not go well in his life and one day he said oh that thou wouldest bless me and enlarge my coast is someone ready to pray listen god is a god of increase is it is the will of god that you keep moving from glory to glory not that you become stunted in one position i pray for you in the name of jesus expand expand to the left expand to the right i'm praying for you by the power of the holy ghost expand to the east expand to the north expand to the south expand to the west expand overseas in the name of jesus christ let's decree favor ah. in the name of jesus christ the kind of favor you have not seen in your life i stand by the god of heaven if you can believe it i declare between now and next week sunday return with a fearful testimony of favor i speak it from the depth of my spirit return with a fearful testimony of favor we shift systems, we shift structures, and I command favor. I declare favor. I command favor. I declare favor. Can I pray for your spiritual life? everything that has killed your hunger and your passion for the things of god you used to pray in the night but now you sleep all till the day there is a spirit of slumber that wants to eat up your destiny because a new season is about to open for you so the devil does not want you to stay in the place of prayer receive an impartation of the grace the spirit of prayer and supplication in the name of jesus christ listen to me hear me we are wrapping up i'm speaking to you prophetically there are many of you seasons are about to open in your life but listen listen the devil wants to use offense to kill those seasons beware one of the traps of satan when seasons are about to open is that he uses offense everything offends you your husband your wife your children your boss make up your mind that your joy will remain because it is with joy you draw out of the wells of salvation i declare joy unspeakable joy unspeakable full of glory joy unspeakable full of glory joy unspeakable full of glory
Hallelujah. Let me pray for those in business. I believe in the power of the Holy Ghost. And I believe in miracles. I don't care how it has been before now. In the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God, what has refused to walk in your hands? Go back right now and watch wonders happen. Go back right now and watch wonders happen. Go, uh, Go back and watch wonders happen. In the name of Jesus Christ. And whatsoever he doeth prospers whatsoever he doeth prospers one last prayer for tonight there is something called honor see you can respect yourself but you cannot honor yourself it takes another person to confer honor upon you honor is a grace that is transferable he said thou shall find Joshua in whom the spirit is upon and he says that thou shalt lay your hands upon him and then he says you shall take some of your honor and you shall give to him honor is transferable the cure for shame and the cure for reproach in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare may this mantle of honor the grace that distinguishes you even among your contemporaries may that grace rest upon you now may that grace rest upon you now may that grace rest upon you now because i have confidence in you every time and any day I have confidence in you, Savior, I have confidence in you, Jesus, sing with me, I have confidence in you, Jesus, I have confidence in you, Lord, I trust you. I trust you. Go ahead and pray. I trust you. Satan, you are a liar. The situations in my life will not cause me to distrust God. I trust you. You are worthy. I trust you. Go ahead and pray. 
You are dependable. You are dependable. You are not a man that you should lie. You are not the son of man that you should repent. If you speak, it is within your power to bring it to pass. Hallelujah. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. You are holy. Holy. Are you Lord Worship it tonight. You are holy. Listen to what you are singing. Because we believe you, this is no pretense. Take joy, my king, in what you hear, and let it be a sweet, sweet sound. Take joy, my king. In what you hear, let it be a sweet, sweet sound. Let it be a sweet, sweet sound. Everything else can wait. Why the hurry? Give me you. I hope I'm not too late. Lord, give me you. Lord, give me you. Let it be a sincere prayer tonight. Don't mind me, I'm just worshiping you. Give me you Everything else can wait 
from your spirit and just begin to exalt him there's something God is doing in your life find a song by yourself worship you're not wasting your time tonight I will not call on your name and end up in shame Our world is full of men and women whose names are not powerful. You can call the name of a senator, you can call the name of your president, but there is a name. The Bible says the name of the Lord not only has power, but is a strong power. How can I call on your name and then up in Why will I bow down before you and then bow down before a man? Because you are my God, you are my God. We're soon going to 
sit down but don't disconnect from what God is doing if it's not in your presence if it's not by your hand and if it's not by your spirit don't let me have it For everything I need is in you If it's not in your presence There are many options but I choose your presence If it's not by your hand If it's not by your spirit Don't let me have it if it's not in your presence If it's not by your hands If it's not by your spirit Don't let me have Everything, everything, Lord, you are. Don't sing it if you don't mean it. It's my everything, everything. Time with your voice, everything. 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 Lord, you are Restoring God Hallelujah 
However I made them And all that has taken My heart Tonight I will lay down those idols Thrones I have made And everything that has taken your place Lord, I will lay down my idols and thrones I have made and all that has taken my heart. Sing, Lord, I will bow to no other God but you. Lord, I will worship you. And nothing that hands have made. Nothing hands have made. You alone. Your name is called Emmanuel. 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 Emmanuel. Emmanuel, Emmanuel, Your name is restoration to people here please I want you to pay attention there are people who have labored you have tried you have done all you know to do 
And the Lord is saying, I shall speak to you that the season is for restoration. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen. It's a prophecy for you. That everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen. Prophesy to yourself now. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. And everything that was shall be restored. Shall be restored unto me. We prophesy everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Everything that was lost shall be returned. One more time. Everything that was lost. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. There's a prophetic word for you. You may not see the wind. You may not see the rain. Yet in this season, the Lord is filling your valley. In a way... Listen carefully, but the Lord is filling your valley in a way that even you will know this one is the finger of God. You may not see the wind. I'm speaking to someone by the Spirit. You may not see the wind. You wouldn't know how it will happen. That overnight they will say, is Saul also one of the prophets? How did it happen? You may not see the wind. You may not see the rain, but brothers and sisters, in this season, God is lifting men. You may not see the wind, I repeat, you may not see the rain. You may not see the person coming, yet the finger of God, in a way that not even you can understand, will lift you in a way that will surprise everyone around you. Hallelujah. Our hope is Yahweh, Yahweh. We look to Yahweh, Yahweh. Forever Yahweh, Yahweh. We look to Yahweh, Yahweh. Yahweh, Yahweh, we look to Yahweh, Yahweh, forever Yahweh, Yahweh. Let's do some little prayer. Hold hands with somebody all around you and begin to pray in the spirit. Let's challenge the spirit of unbelief. I know my God is able. I know my God is alive. I know my God is able. Come on, house of David. My God is alive. God is not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. My God is not a man that he should lie. He is not the son of man that he should repent. God is not a man that he should lie. Not the son of man that he should repent. Pray. Eyes are on you, the author, the finisher of every ministry, every business, every career, every family. Shekate balakota sebrati alabadabu. 
Pray. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. You are the lifter of men. 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 Hallelujah. Second prayer point. Hallelujah. We are praying, Father, let your fire from heaven fall and everything that does not reflect you in my life, take it away. Are you ready to pray that prayer? Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. This is a threshing floor. It's a place whereby His Spirit is building us. Lord, take away everything. The weight that easily besets me, take it away. All that robs me from reflecting you, the carnality, the flesh, the pride, everything, everything, the loss. Take it by your fire. Let your fire come upon my life. Let your fire come upon my business. Let your fire come upon my ministry. Let your fire come upon everything. Everything. Make sure you are praying. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, please take this prayer seriously. God is changing your life. I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, I vow that in my lifting you will be glorified. You see, let me tell you, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's easy to say, Lord, give me car, give me tea, give me bread. But there are many of us, you were tested with certain things and your heart went away from God. And God says, no, it is profitable that I keep you here. I'd like you to pray and say, Father, for as long as I live, my life, my wealth, my increase, the ministry, the anointing will bring you glory. Can you open your mouth and pray? Oh, it's for your glory. The millions and the billions is for your glory. The influence is for your glory. The open doors in ministry, in life, in business. Make sure you are praying for your glory. Keep praying for your glory, for your kingdom. Hallelujah. Listen, many years ago the Lord spoke to me. Then I was nothing, nobody knew Joshua Selman for anything. And the Lord told me something. He said, Son, if you will let men see me, there is nothing I will not give you. I thought it was a joke. If you will let men see me. There are many of us, the reason why we may never rise to certain dimensions is because there is an obsession to be at the center stage. 
I shared in Abel Kuta yesterday that everything that is glorious hides behind the veil. Are we together? When Rebecca was coming to meet her husband Isaac, as soon as she saw him, she covered herself because she was a woman of glory. When all of you is open to everybody, you are cheap. There is a part of you that must be behind the veil. Are we together? That obsession to be known is why many of us are not known. Some of you may see us walk and come in, ah, the man of God, and you just admire these things, and your heart is already corrupted from the beginning. There's nothing wrong with honor, except that your, your love for God and your desire to see His kingdom come must supersede your desire for fame. Listen carefully. It's true. There are so many people who have all it takes to rise, but it's the hand of God keeping them there. Because their motives are so corrupt, the love of God would dare not let them rise. But if you can let the whole world see and know that there is nothing in this person, all that I am is because of all that he is. And God says, you are doing this for me. You have the opportunity to take everything and you say, Lord, it's yours. So, and God says, if that is the case, then I'm ready to lift you to another dimension. But I want you to pray this prayer and say, Father, the challenges that stand before me that are frustrating my focus, the focus that I need to give to my spiritual work could be financial, could be academic, could be family. I bring them to the altar of worship tonight and I ask that your fire will fall on them. Lift your voice and pray. I bring before you my pain. I bring before you everything. Go ahead and pray. I bring before you everything. Everything. The Bible says, Be anxious for nothing. It says, But in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. It says, Make your request known. Don't keep it silent. Make your request known. Lord, if you arise for me in this area, it will give me room to serve you. If you arise for my husband, my wife, my church, my business, my ministry. Please help that woman. Casting crowns, lifting hands, bowing hearts, this is what we've come to do. Lifting heads, bowing hearts, what we've come. One more time, casting crowns. Casting crowns, like the twenty and four elders. I bow my heart, bowing hearts, what I've come to do. We will rise, we will rise. Hallelujah. In your name, Adonai, you reign on high. Sheba la kusaba la nikaria da balakusi.
You have won the victory. Come on, worship Him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have won it all. That could not say. Listen to what you are saying. Help that person, please. Please help them. You are the reason. Seated in my that was slain, the Bible says, to receive for us blessing and honor and riches and power and glory. You won it all. That could not hold you. That means nothing can hold you down to it. You are the you seated in majesty. So let hope, let it rise. Darkness trembles in your holy light. Tonight I challenge my faith to rise. Let hope rise. Darkness trembles in your holy light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let hope rise. Darkness trembles in your holy light. Two more times. Let hope rise. One more time. Let There is power in your name. Miracles happen in your name. Don't hurry the song. There is power in your name. That's the God we serve. Miracles happen in your name. One more time, there's power. There is power in your name. Yeah. Miracles happen in your name. There is power in your name. To draw from you again, again, to drink from you again, to hear from you again, 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 to speak to you again. We've come to draw. Hey! Hey! To draw from you again. Hey! We've come to draw.
carry the guitar while you are playing I want everyone to begin to prophesy to every mountain that stands before you this is under the corporate anointing who are down mountain before the Rubabel I come by the unction of worship and I declare that that mountain you must be made plain come on lift your voice house of David prophesy prophesy I prophesied as I was commanded I prophesied as I was commanded and there was a sound don't be silent don't be tired you are commanding victories in the spirit we decree it in the name of Jesus. Here are these worship and miracles. We command by the Spirit. Mountains of finances. We command by the Spirit. Mountains of sickness. For when God shows up, everything that is not Him must give way. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen, let me tell you. Many of you are shifting things in the spirit. That is God for you. Forever, oh Lord, thy word is set to. It's not a special number. Listen to what you are saying. Forever. Concerning my victory, your word concerning my lifting, not the recession will stop it, not the hatred of men can stop it. So I believe, yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe that you're the Son of God. I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Jesus, that you can change our lives, that you can change and shift our destinies, that you can bring new anointings in our ministries. Yes, Lord, we believe. Yesterday, the Lord did mighty things in Abel Kuta, and one of it that touched me so much, not many of you were there, but whilst I was ministering by the Spirit, the Lord brought forth a few women and two of them, very strangely. One of the women had been barren for 23 years, 23 years. Another friend that she invited from Lagos here, am I right, Pastor? 27 years. A combination of 50 years. Two women. Now, if all you pray for them for is to have a child, you still cheated them. 27 years? No. The Bible says if a thief be caught, you don't return what you stole. Because while you stole it, someone suffered something. So you return plus the interest that matches the time wasted. Are we together? We're about to pray. I, we will soon round up. Please be patient with me. There are things that the devil has taken. Some of us years has been eaten from our lives. You are not where you should be now. I, I'm not trying to condemn you, but it's not a lie. Are we together now? You went to school at 25. You graduated at 33. You got a job at 41. When will you retire? 
but there is a system in the kingdom Hi. that overnight the rod of a priest boarded it is not normal for trees to grow. No, 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 no. The sequence is that it starts coming out gradually and will take two or three years. But in the presence of God, a rod not connected to a root, all of a sudden bordered. How many of you believe here that God in one month can compress something that, that would have been? We are going to sing this song again. And while you sing it, I'd like you to see strange liftings that you stand here to testify, and your testimony is this. They say, Talk now. You say, I, I'm trying to. I'm trying to. Look what God did in my family in one month. Listen, there are people who should not have one child alone. The time they've, they've spent is too long. You should have at least twins or triplets. There are people who should not just have a job. A job of 100,000 after 20 years of waiting, that's not a testimony. That God will shift you in a way and manner. There are people here, you are supposed to have been in ministry since the last 10 years. You should have been in dimensions, but something happened and the devil stole years. I like you to pray and say, Father, every year it must be recovered. I'm leaving nothing to Satan. It is within your power. Come on, house of David, we are rounding up. Lord, let there be a restoration of the years the canker worm ate, the years the palmer worm ate. There must be a restoration of every fortune, a restoration of every lifting, a restoration by the Spirit of the Living God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, the Lord just spoke to my spirit that we should sing a song. I'm not Yoruba, but the song is in Yoruba. And I just wanted to keep quiet. The Lord said, as the, whoever is going to be singing it, an anointing through this song is going to be bringing this recovery. I don't know the song. Oh, I'm just someone who just had God. Go ahead, my dear. That's what the Lord told me. And as we begin to sing this song, He's stepping into people's situation. I want you as you are, as you are singing this song, see Jesus stepping in into your family. Jesus, the Son of the Living God, walking into your life finally, walking into your disappointments. Please help those under the anointing. Jesus is stepping in in this auditorium. Lord Jesus, now I'm going to begin to pray. Jesus, Jesus is walking into this auditorium right now. Walking into this auditorium. Jesus is walking into this auditorium. The Lord is replacing all kinds of things, body parts, the healing power of Jesus, touching people. There are restorations coming now. Restorations, please help them. Just help them. We can't bring them out because of time. But the anointing of the Spirit is touching you right where you are. Right where you are. It's over. It's over. The Spirit of God is saying it's over. You will not cry forever. It's over. 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 Everything that happens on earth that is negative, please hear me. There was someone in fraternity with the realm of the spirit who spoke it to happen. Even the coming of Jesus, it took Anna the prophetess to pray the word to come on earth. He didn't just appear. 
when she saw him, she said, Now my soul can find rest. What I kept decreeing, speaking in the realm of the spirit, has come. Oh, my help has come. Oh, my help has come. Oh, my lifting has come. Ah. Oh, We are going to pray in the spirit. Please be serious. Take the time to pray, generate energy in the spirit. We are praying under a corporate anointing. Lift your voice and begin to pray in the spirit. Lift your voice and begin to pray in the spirit. We set a parable to the end that men ought always to pray. Are you praying? Pray in the spirit. And the Catacatabraca, Hallelujah. Are you ready to pray? Prayer point number one, Psalm 3. Psalm 3, please help us, media. Psalm 3 and verse 1. Lord, how they are they increased that trouble me? Many are they that rise up against me. Verse 2. Many there be which say of my soul. There is no help for you in God. Verse 3. But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, my glory, and the lifter up of my head. Are you ready to pray? Say in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that nothing keeps my head down. In this season, I am lifted supernaturally. Lift your voice and begin to pray. But thou, O Lord, as a shield for me, my glory, the lifter up of my head. Let's 
In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Acts chapter 12. Please give it to us quickly. Acts chapter 12. From verse 4. The Bible says that Peter was kept in prison. And the Bible says they kept him in prison, intending that after Easter, they would bring him out so that the people would kill him. Verse 5. Peter therefore was kept in prison, but prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God for him. What happened? And when Herod would have brought him forth the same night, Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, bound with two chains and the keepers before the door that kept the prison. Verse 7. The Bible says, And behold, the angel of the Lord came upon him, and light shined in the prison, and they smote Peter on the side, and raised him up, saying, Arise up quickly. And the chains fell off from his hand. Verse 8. And the angel said unto him, Guard thyself, and bind up thy sandals. And so he did. And he said unto him, Cast thy garment before thee, and follow me. Verse 9. The Bible says, And he went out and followed him, and wished not that it was true which was done by the angel, but he saw as though he was in a vision. 10. Hmm. And when they were past the second, the first gate, there were three gates. The first gate brought him out of the prison. The second gate was midway. And the Bible says they came unto the iron gate that led to the city. Listen to me. This is the gate that stops visibility. There is a gate that stops the visibility of men. It says the gate leads to the city. Your business can be there, but there is an iron gate. Listen. And the Bible says that the gate opened on its own accord. When that gate opens, the next thing you see is the city. It's the gate that controls influence. Are you ready to pray? In the name of Jesus, every gate standing my way of influence and visibility, I declare be broken right now. Lift your voice and pray. He has broken the gates of God and caught the bars of iron in thunder. He has broken the gates of God and caught the bars of iron in thunder. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Listen to me. We are going to pray against delay. It was the delay of the bridegroom that made the oil of others to finish. If the bridegroom came early, all ten of them would see him. They all had oil, but because the bridegroom delayed, the oil of others finished and they missed out. You are going to pray. Lord, bring speed to my destiny. Bring speed to my life. Lift your voice and pray. Bring speed to my life. Bring to my destiny. Bring to my life. Bring to my destiny. Bring to my business. Bring to my career. Someone is praying. Yes, 
Pray, pray, outside, pray, online, pray, make the priest in the name of Jesus. 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 We are still praying over speed. Look at me. Listen. The unit of destiny is time. God can bring you help speedily. Are we together now? Yes. We are going to pray. The Bible says, And the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah. And Elijah ran on barefoot and overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Israel. We are going to pray. Lord, bring speed to my life. Bring speed to my life. Lift your voice and begin to prophesy. Speed, speed, speed. Someone prophesy. Someone declare. Speed to my destiny. Speed to my destiny. Speed to my destiny. Speed to my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Psalm one twenty five, verse three. Psalm 125 verse 3, please. The Bible says, The rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. Why? Lest the righteous put their hands in iniquity. The rod of the wicked. You are going to command every finger of darkness and evil over your life, your family, your children. You are going to command it to give way. Are you ready? Lift your voice and pray. The rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the Lord of the righteous. Hallelujah. 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 Job chapter 5, please. Job chapter 5 and verse 19. We are praying. Please take this prayer serious. Job chapter 5 and verse 19. Are you ready to read? Want to read with me? He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yea, in seven shall no evil touch you. Number one. Next verse, please. In famine he shall redeem thee from death. And in war from the power of the sword. Next verse. Thou shalt be hid from the scorching tongues of men. Neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. At destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. Neither shalt thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. Why? Listen. It says, for thou shalt be in covenant with the stones of the field. That means nobody can use any element of creation to make enchantments against me. You use sand. You, I, I have a covenant with the elements of creation that they will not fight me because I was given dominion over them. Say in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, no enchantment, no divination against my life and my destiny shall try. Lift your voice and pray. I am in covenant. I am in covenant. I am in covenant. With the stone. I am in covenant. I am in covenant. 
I am in covenant with the Second Thessalonians chapter 3 and verse 16. Second Thessalonians chapter 3 and verse 16. Please read with me. Are you ready? One to read. Now the Lord of peace himself give you peace. How long? Always. By all means. If it means clearing the troublemakers out of the way, by all means. If it means making a way, by all means, lift your voice and say, Lord, by all means, give me peace. 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 By all means, Isaiah 61. Isaiah 61. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of prison to them that are bound. There are people physically, you see them moving. But in the realm of the spirit, the Bible says that they are bound. Next verse. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God. To comfort all that mourn in Zion. Verse 3. It says to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion to give them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called the trees or the oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord that he might be glorified. Verse 4, I receive it for myself. It says, and they shall build the old waste, they shall raise up the former desolations, and shall repair the waste cities and desolations of many generations. Verse 5, and strangers... This is where we are getting to. You don't need to know who will help you. Strangers. And strangers shall stand and feed. Listen, listen, listen. Strangers shall stand and feed your flock. It says, and the sons of aliens or foreigners shall be your plowmen. This was what happened to a man called Mephibosheth. The Bible says, and David said, is there any man in the house of Saul that I may show him kindness for Jonathan's sake? And they called a man called Ziba who had 15 sons. The Bible says he sent him to Lodeba. He said, there is a crippled man called Mephibosheth. Go and fetch the man, the king said. When he came, he said, although you are crippled, even Mephibosheth said, am I a dog that the king will be sending for me? He said the children of Ziba would plow the land for him. He said, but as for you, Mephibosheth, you will eat with me at my table here forever. Keep that scripture there. Listen. 
This scripture is the deliverance scripture. Stop thinking the miracle will come through the person you know. It's none of your business how God will bring you the breakthrough. Stop troubling your uncle, your auntie. Every time you are saying, God, visit me, your mind is going to a particular person. That real estate man. Leave God to decide who, like a movie director. Let him decide who will come with the blessing. Are you ready to pray? Make decrees in this season. Strangers are feeding my flock. Strangers are feeding my flock. The sons of Elias are coming to bless me. Hell, prepare blessings rising from everywhere. Hallelujah. Everywhere the helpers of your destiny are. Men instructed by God to hold your hand and lift you. I don't care where they are across this nation and around the globe. I stand by the voice of prophecy and I command them to show up in your life. 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 In your life. Listen to me. Every strange pattern an occurrence in any family circles of negative things that keep repeating themselves I stand by the God of heaven and I come by the rod of a higher priesthood I break those patterns now and Jabez was more honorable than his brethren the Bible says the mom brought him in sorrow and named him Jabez. And for a while things would not go well in his life. And one day he said, Oh, that thou wouldest bless me and enlarge my coast. Is someone ready to pray? Listen, God is a God of increase. It, it is the will of God that you keep moving from glory to glory. Not that you become stunted in one position. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, expand. Expand to the left. Expand to the right. I'm praying for you by the power of the Holy Ghost. Expand to the east. Expand to the north. Expand to the south. Expand to the west. Expand overseas. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let's decree favor. Ah. In the name of Jesus Christ, the kind of favor you have not seen in your life, I stand by the God of heaven if you can believe it. I declare, return with a fearful testimony of favor. I speak it from the depth of my spirit. Return with a fearful testimony of favor. We shift systems, we shift structures, and I command favor. I declare favor. I command favor. I declare favor. Can I pray for your spiritual life? Everything that has killed your hunger and your passion for the things of God. You used to pray in the night, but now you sleep all till the day. There is a spirit of slumber that wants to eat up your destiny because a new season is about to open for you. So the devil does not want you to stay in the place of prayer. Receive an impartation of the grace, the spirit of prayer and supplication in the name of Jesus Christ. Listen to me. Hear me. We are wrapping up. I'm speaking to you prophetically. There are many of you. Seasons are about to open in your life. But listen, listen. 
The devil wants to use offense to kill those seasons. Beware. One of the traps of Satan when seasons are about to open is that he uses offense. Everything offends you. Your husband, your wife, your children, your boss. Make up your mind that your joy will remain because it is with joy you draw out of the wealth of salvation. I declare joy unspeakable, joy unspeakable, full of glory, joy unspeakable, full of glory, joy unspeakable, full of glory. Hallelujah. Let me pray for those in business. I believe in the power of the Holy Ghost and I believe in miracles. I don't care how it has been before now. In the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the Living God, what has refused to walk in your hands? Go back right now and watch one that happened. Go back right now and watch one that happened. Go back and watch one that happened. In the name of Jesus Christ. And whatsoever he doeth, prospers. Whatsoever he doeth, prospers. There is something called honor. See, you can respect yourself, but you cannot honor yourself. It takes another person to confer honor upon you. Honor is a grace that is transferable. He said, thou shalt find Joshua... In whom the spirit is upon. And he says that thou shalt lay your hands upon him. And then he says you shall take some of your honor. And you shall give to him. Honor is transferable. The cure for shame. And the cure for reproach. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare. May this mantle of honor, the grace that distinguishes you, even among your contemporaries, may that grace rest upon you now. May that grace rest upon you now. May that grace rest upon you now. There are people who came here with bills, came here with things that are pressing your neck. Though I walk through the valley, I feel no evil. By the waters in my soul, my heart will trust. Take your eyes away from the challenges. My eyes will trust. Though I walk through the path, I feel no My heart will drop. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Now the Lord is that spirit. I'm ready to pray just a few minutes. I saw the hands of people tied with chains. No matter what you do, it doesn't seem to work. It works for others, but when it gets to your turn, there will always be one story or the other. Fire is about to fall. Shanabakata. I stretch my hands. Bring them out. Everyone under the influence of this ministration, if there is any power holding your hands and your productivity, in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare may that yoke be broken now. Change be broken now. Change be broken now. Change be broken now. I'm seeing fire rest on people. Bring them. Change be broken. 
is impossible to be here and not have results. This is koinonia. I declare change be broken. Atmosphere. See now. Change be broken. I'm seeing the vision of an employment letter. In two weeks, three people from one family. In two weeks, this is what the Lord is revealing. Three people from one family. I stand by the God of heaven and I declare this as a prophetic word. Let it be, you will marvel and wonder at the supernatural power of the Holy Ghost. I declare it as a prophetic word. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is showing me people who have been around projects, simple things that should be finished on time. Some of you it has taken years. You start businesses, you start things, that finish, that grace is not there. I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, everything you have started and the devil will not want you to finish it. I stand by the God of heaven. Whether it's a building project, whether it's a business, whether it's a spiritual adventure, I release the finisher's anointing upon you. The finisher's anointing upon you. The finisher's anointing. The hand of the Rubabel that began this work. I prophesy that same hand will complete it. In the name of Jesus Christ. There are people here, you've been part of the lifting of many people, but they've forgotten about you. There is a book in the spirit called the book of remembrance. The Bible says, and that night could not King Ahasuerus sleep. And he said, bring me the chronicles. I'm, sp I'm speaking to someone by the spirit. And Mordecai had saved the king. But he was not rewarded. I speak to you no matter how long it has been. That every reward that should have come to you. By reason of your participating in the success of others. And you've been forgotten. In the name that is above all names. May the book of remembrance be opened for you now. Believe it. Believe it. This is not motivation. May the book of remembrance be opened for you now. For all of you who are out here, I declare those chains are broken forever. I will never be the same. I've touched your grace. My life must change. I will never be the same. I've touched your grace. My life must change. I will never be the same. I've touched your grace. My life must change. I will never be the same. I will never be the same. I've touched your grace. My life must change. 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 Let this wine press be the one that will shift you into dimensions and realms that will turn you into a sign and a wonder. Listen. 
there is no dimension and hear me when I tell you this it is true there is no dimension of possibilities there is no dimension of dominion that you cannot command the key is not to chase after things no everything in life was designed to be attracted to be drawn by the mysteries of the kingdom and that which I show you tonight is called priesthood is the mystery of dominion the saints reign we program the spiritual climate over us you pick favor from the realm of the spirit add it to January to December you pick speed add it January to December speak open door add it January to December program every good thing to wait till you are there before it shows up if you are not there then it is allowed to be delayed till you show up Who art thou mounting before Zerubbabel that stands before you? My brothers and my sisters, I don't mean to insult your intelligence, but what is in a job that God cannot give you? Listen, listen, I, I don't mean to be sarcastic, it is true. Every day there are people looking for people to bless in this city. What is stopping them from reaching you? It is not distance. I guarantee you it is not distance. And it is not familiarity. Because Gentiles will come to your light. Not your familiar friends. No. When those who know you bless you, it's difficult to say it's God. But when strangers feed your flock, then you know that it's a dimension of grace. Where you wake up in the morning and you collide with all kinds of breakthroughs. By evening you return back home and say, my God, have I not been in Lagos? And people say, ah, your season has come. You say you are right. But it's not time that brought it. Priesthood opened me to another vista of spiritual possibility. It's true. We are going to pray. And I, I want to find a way of believing what I share with you tonight. Whatever he does prospers. It doesn't just prosper because he wants it to prosper. It is what is on your head that is controlling what is around your life. Priesthood. That you can pray your way up to date, down tomorrow spiritually. Lord, I fold that season like a curtain out of my life. Priesthood. The power of legislature. What kind of dream is this that I always have? Every time I'm supposed to be lifted, I see myself in secondary school. I see myself in my former house. No, I don't know what it means, but I know this is evil. Because the Bible says the part of the justice has a shining light. And you use priesthood, blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against us, that he nailed his cross. That every good thing starts in my life but doesn't end. But the Bible says he has turned my mourning into dancing, not dancing into mourning. He has turned my sorrow into joy. And so you, you step back and, and take away your priest, your, your regalia and put that regalia of priesthood. It's time to pray. It's time to rearrange possibilities. It's time to manipulate realities. To send angels. To send the ministry of the Holy Spirit to homes, to systems, to structures, compelling them to bow to the Lord of the Christ. Hallelujah. Please listen. I know there may be many pastors following online and so on and so forth. Why is my church not growing? Why is growth epileptic? I have a message. I'm a man of character and integrity. I love the Lord with all my heart. What is this thing that is making people not grow? No. People do not just come. They are compelled to come. There is a grace that compels people. It's called anakazo. It's the, it's the ability of the spirit. He, he called for a feast. And he sent to call people. And they were giving excuses. One said, I just married. I need to spend time with my wife. Another said, I built a house. I need to celebrate. He said, go to the street and the byways. And compel them. Compel them. 
Listen to me. Listen. There are dimensions you must enter, but there are graces that is like that. That expansion has not happened. You can expand yourself like the molting of a snake. Come out of your old self into another dimension that sustains the power to command real results. Lord, what is wrong with me? I love God, but I prophesy. And every every case I mention is not true. I say you are you're John. I say I'm not John. Something is wrong. I'm a prophet, but it's not speaking. Get to the position of priesthood and pray out that cell of the flesh until there is a heavy investment of the spirit. You come out from that place of priesthood and you become a blazing fire, an inferno of fire. Haya, haya, ha, Here, let me give you an honest counsel. Going around and giving cards for invitation and saying, Invite me, I'm a man of God, you will only mock yourself. Go back to the secret place, the place where men are made for a generation and generate the kind of energy that defies being ignored, that vetoes your background, that vetoes your limitations. Pray yourself until you intercourse with an anointing, a grace that a generation recognizes. Pray until an investment of the spirit comes upon you. Makatos kabakata, seke 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 ta, ebeke tos keleba, ratos kaba. You call me to the ministry of signs and wonders. Lord, my life cannot be barren. Manda salas kabarata, ebeke seke seke ba ratos, makabara katos seke seke te. and sisters hear me it is because the challenges in our lives have not met authentic priesthood that's why they remain are we together now yes sir the day you take the matters in your destiny serious you will melt it like wax before the fire because the bible says he maketh his angels wings and his ministers flames of fire you can pray your way, priesthood. While men sleep, you are praying. Skaparush Kanata. Lagos, hear the word of the Lord. I stand as a priest. I legislate from Leki to VI to Ikeja. I call forth my helpers. I call forth the way makers used by God. I decree and declare no more delay. I program speed. I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost. I am Bula and Hepzibah. I cannot be denied. Cannot be denied. Not on grounds of sentiment. Not on grounds of gender. I stand as one who has been helped by God. Kela Parus Kanakatos. Speak for your background. Speak for your limitations. Let priesthood become your advantage. Advantage in the spirit. Advantage in destiny. That the opening of your mouth is the opening of the gate of the destinies of men. Someone open your mouth and pray. Cry to the God of heaven. Kela Pas Shalakata. Branches 
Look at me. Listen to me. You're going to pray just two prayer points and we're done for the night. You're going to challenge the Bible says, listen to me. It says, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. He said, casting down every imagination is the word yes, sir. The vain imaginations of men and bringing every thought to the obedience of Christ. You are going to pray. This is priesthood now. Are we together now? You are going to pray and declare that everything that is not consistent with the character of God and the speakings of prophecy, hear the word of the Lord. I come as one sent, anointed by God, and you will lift your voice and begin to make decrees. The Bible says, Declare ye that thou mightest be justified. Lift your voice and pray. Make decrees. Speak. Speak to systems. Speak to structures. Are there men of prayer here? I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Ghost. Lagos, hear my voice. Someone is praying. Bagada, hear my voice. Ikeja, hear my voice. Leki, hear my voice. Africa, hear my voice. I speak in the name of Jesus. Every barrier be torn down by the power of the Holy Ghost. Every climate above me, programming woes, programming delay, stopping a generation from hearing your voice, manipulating your influence, across a territorial space, I come against you in the name of Jesus. Someone is praying, someone is praying over your ministry. I challenge power over your business. I confront spirit in the name of Jesus. By the blood of the eternal covenant. I silence speaking. I silence ordinances. I silence oppression in the name of Jesus. Pray. La 
last prayer point. Please look at me. It was the service in Psalm 3 that says, Many are they that rise up against me. He says, Many are they that say, Where is thy God? But then he says, But thou, O Lord, that you are a shield for me. Then he says, You are my glory. And he uses the next prayer point You are the lifter of my head. He says, My horn shall thou exalt like the horn of a unicorn. Even when the head of the unicorn is down, the horn is not down. The horn remains up at all times. And I shall be anointed with fresh oil. Please listen. Listen. I want you to take this prayer session seriously. You are going to pray. Lord, the grace, the anointing, the unction for the next level of my life, the compelling ability of the Spirit that must rest upon me and will resonate like an earthquake across a territory. The infant of fire that must come upon my life and turn me to a wonder. I receive it now. Lift your voice and begin to pray. The grace that will make my music ministry step into another dimension for the sake of His majesty. The grace that will make my business become a wonder and grace. There was a sound of a mighty rushing and it came and filled the room. Praise the dimension of the healing anointing. Praise the dimension of the grace for wealth and abundance. Praise the dimension of the grace for prayer. Praise the dimension of the grace for giving. Praise the dimension of the grace for coming. Praise the dimension. Let me pray for you. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, I decree and I declare over everyone here and all the branches and all connected online. I pray by the ministry of the Spirit. In the name of Jesus, may mighty anointing come upon your life and shift it to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. The spirit of prayer and supplication that will grant you the grace to travail. I declare by the hand of God, let it rest upon you now. These three women, I'm not ministering this night, but these three women, I'm seeing oil being poured on all three of them. Help them, please. New dimension. I shift you in the spirit. New dimension. New dimension. New dimension. Take that fire. New dimension. Dimension of power. Dimension of grace. I amplify your voice. I give your product wings in the spirit. I command the generation to hear your voice. I place something upon your life that defies being denied. I forbid you from being rejected. I declare and declare 2020 expand 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 I speak by the spirit expand I require expand move to new level expand increase increase in knowledge increase in prosperity increase in influence increase in wisdom lift your hands everybody Everywhere your gift is needed, I command them to begin to talk about you. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I activate breakthrough for you. In the name of Jesus, everywhere your gift is needed, whoever needs your gift in Nigeria, I stand as a servant of God. I command a connection in the realm of the Spirit, beginning from tonight. tonight Tonight, 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 in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I pray for every one of your family members looking for a job. My God and my King tonight. Let testimonies rise from this message. 
no matter how long tonight let someone talk to somebody talk to somebody and talk to somebody and connect them for breakthrough in the name of Jesus for your family members I command help us those who will connect them to projects and contracts and opportunities. Yes, they don't merit it, but by the power of destiny help us, I connect them to the breakthrough for the next level. In the name of Jesus. Where you have tried academically, I connect you to help us. Professors who will help you. Admin staff who will help you. Admin staff who will help you. Members in the Senate who will help you. Whether for accommodation, whether for your results, whether for missing scripts, whether for your wajek, whatever it is. In the name of Jesus. As the Senate and the faculty board members meet over your results and your performance, may a strange man enter that meeting and advocate for you in the name of Jesus. Anywhere they want to turn down your family members or turn down anything, let a strange man come. We don't want to know the name. Let a strange call come. Let a strange connection come. I prophesy it. I release it to you in the name of Jesus. I release testimonies, testimonies, testimonies from this breakthrough experience. Beginning from tonight, I command calls from Destiny Helpers. Calls from Destiny Helpers. Calls from Destiny Helpers. Connections with Destiny Helpers. They will travel and come and meet you. You will meet them on the street. They will come to your homes in the name of Jesus. You will see them in your dreams. God will connect you. For every one of your family members that is supposed to be married and they are not married, the husbands or the wives, they are not in space. They are here on earth. Lord, we pray tonight as a family by the power that is in the name of the resurrected Christ. I pray, let help us lead partners to their mates in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. We command supernatural marital connections in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We bind every devil. We bind every power that attempts to cause delay. We set them free from every curse and every yoke of bondage. Be released in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The ministry of destiny help us All through this week I want you to pray Cry out And say Lord bring them I believe you will share fearful testimonies In this place As a result Tonight I have shown you a very mighty secret Don't forget it too soon Hold it Every time you are praying over something The answer is in the hands of another person Stop beating about the bush Every man And every authority Can answer When God calls Yours is just to pray That God will connect you Praise the Lord Mercy is a weapon And you are about to use it now ah, And he told me Just to the high priest Standing before the Lord And the accuser came before him Attempting to rail accusations And he said Is this not a reed That I have taken out of fire And he said The Lord rebuke you Listen The message of God is a weapon you can use it and say, Satan, Satan, I know you are supposed to destroy me, but what about this? I present to you the mercy of God. I present to you the blood of the eternal covenant. I present to you the advocacy of Jesus at the right hand of the Father, standing and speaking. 
I present to you the sinless blood. I present to you Calvary. I know I've not been a tiger. You are authorized to destroy me. But see the blood. When I see the blood, when I see the blood, when I see the blood, you should be destroyed. But the blood will speak. Hear me. You live the wayward life. And all kinds of things happen. And the earth cries against you. But when I see the blood, when I see the blood, you are involved in all kinds of blood covenants and fraternities in ignorance. But now that you are in Christ, when I see the blood, lift up your voice and plead the blood. Hey! In God's mercy, mercy. Come on now. In God's mercy. In God's mercy. Hallelujah. Hear me. The Bible says, blotting out every handwriting. There are handwriting. There are records kept in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not live long. There are records in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not be blessed. There are records in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not have any child again. The devil says you wasted all your children and all of them have gone. There is a record in the realm of the spirit that says you have misused all the opportunities that you were given. But tonight, plead the blood. It can blot it out. Come on now. It can blot it out. It can blot it out. It can blot 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 out. What's the pray? Hear me. A cause, causeless, shall not stand. A cause, causeless. So if the blood of Jesus takes away the legal access, the effect must lead me to open your mouth and declare every pattern. You have been blood, blooded, you need my life. Pattern, 
Out of barrenness, portents of failure. Come on now, join on your youth. Come on, 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 come
Lord, the gates must open. Lord, my destiny must be revived. My spiritual life must be revived. My finances, my family, arise, O oh God of heaven. My ministry is time to break forth on the left, on the right. My father kept my mother. Lord, I come by the message of God. He must break in my life. Lift your voice and cry. Lift your voice and cry. Lord, enough is enough. Enough of failure. Enough of poverty. Enough of burying my loved ones. Something has to break loose. Enough of struggling ministry. Enough of struggling my spiritual life. Pray, pray, pray. Let fire burn in this place. Let fire burn in this place. Let fire, fire burn in this place.
one minute, we are going to pray just two prayer points. I'd like you to lift up your voice and declare that in the name of Jesus, I'm walking in the experience of the victory, the victory, that the blood of Jesus, the victory, that the blood of Jesus, the victory, that the death of Jesus, the victory of his triumphant resurrection, lift your voice and declare. Never will it become a prophetic reality. It is becoming my experience. Victory over generational curses. Victory over yokes and bondages. The next time we are doing deliverance and I will be teaching you on all of the elements. But one of the mysteries that produce food, food deliverance is the mystery of the blood. Are we together? It's one of the three witnesses. The Bible says and there are three witnesses that bear three that bear witness in heaven. The Father, the Word and the Spirit. It says that there are three witnesses. This is where the problem is. The earth. It says the spirit, the water, and the blood. Are we together? The Bible guarantees us that the blood of Jesus speaketh. The blood of Jesus speaketh. That means you can cause the blood to advocate. The blood of Jesus is an advocate. There is the advocacy ministry of the blood. The same way Cain killed Abel. Abel the man had died. But Abel the blood was speaking. And he cried. And God himself had to say no something is happening. Although the man had died. But the blood is still speaking. I'd like you to engage the blood. And say in the name of Jesus. I declare that I'm a partaker of the ministry of the blood. I invoke the advocacy of the blood. Open your mouth and speak. Open your mouth and speak. Over every pattern, over every curse, over every yoke.
Instrumentally, just charge the atmosphere for us. Blast in tongues and refuse upon Mount Shadow. And it's supposed to pass in that day. And it's supposed to pass in that day. In that day. In that day. That the burden shall be taken from off your shoulder. And the yoke from off your neck, and it shall be destroyed because of their mercy. Please pray, pray. Please pray. If you are tired, hold the hands of somebody that can agree with you.
as we are praying, brothers, just pray in tongues. I like you to declare that no seed of any entity that is not of God will find. I will not give birth to any stranger. No, let God katabarata, sanaka God kata. Pray. No matter the ordinances of the Father, no matter the enchantments of the ancient, I come by a new order and I declare my womb will produce that seed of the woman that will bruise the head of the serpent. I cause five boys. I cause five boys. Cause every devil. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Brothers, I like you to pray. The spirit that keeps men in one place. You don't move forward. You don't move backward. You stay no productivity. Every gentleman here, open your mouth and blast in tongues. Father, in the heaven, this is better. The Lord, the altar, and everything that tie my life, that tie my destiny, by the mystery of deliverance, I command, I, I command, it is upon my side, the spirit that God sent us. Every 
attribute of the flesh that gives access to any spirit in my life by the mystery of the blood. I declare that that door is closed forever. Lift your voice and pray. Come on. Lift your voice and pray. Manifesting around you, just help them. Are we together? The very serious prayer we're going to pray now. You are going to pray that if by any means there is any spirit entity in my life or around me, it's time for you to come out, it's time for you to go. Listen. As you pray this prayer, many strange things will start happening to you. Don't worry about it. You just focus on this prayer and pray with all your heart and watch what happens. Say in the name of Jesus. Say it in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare by the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ that any spirit entity finding expression in my mind in my body around my life hear the word of the Lord I cast you out of my life now lift your voice and pray Pray, fire is falling. Pray, fire is falling. I cast every spirit. I cast every devil. I cast every spirit by the power of the Holy Ghost. My mind, my body, around my life, around Koinonia. If you are married, also pray for your family. Pray for your children. I cast every devil. Matakota, Samalata. Sabras, Katawa, Rekeke. 
So God, please as I speak, I want you to believe it. I want you to receive it. While I pray, the Lord told me, if it does not happen, it's because you did not speak it. Things will change right now. As I speak, the angels of the Lord will begin to move to the areas that I'm speaking. All I need you to do is to shout a believing Amen when you need to. Hallelujah. Every terminal disease represented in the life of anybody here or any family by the fire of the Holy Ghost right now it leaves your life and your family forever receive it Infirmities are going. Infirmities are going. 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 Cancer go. Cancer go. HIV die. HIV die. SS change to AA. SS change to AA. AS change to AA. Every blood disease, go, go, go. Every blood disease, go now. Go now. My grand headache, go now. Go now. Fibroid, go now. Go now. Peptic ulcer, be gone right now. Be gone right now. HIV, one and two, in any body or family. I command you, die now. Every infection in ladies and guys right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost be healed now every eye problem be gone now 
Deafness in the ears. Go now. Any of your family members who is bedridden, whether for stroke, I'm seeing stroke and partial paralysis right now in the name of Jesus. I command them to arise from that bed. Every plague of death over any family. He said, and when I see the blood, I will pass. I pray. Any devil that has said you will not see it, and has said your family members will not see it, I cause that devil in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Any kind of delay in this place, marital delay, or any kind of delay, at the count of three, yoke and causes of delay begun. One, two, three. Go, 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 go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hear me. Hear me. Any altar of darkness. Hear me. I don't care where it's coming from. That is speaking against your life or the well being of your family. Right now. That altar, wherever it is, it will catch fire now. Catch fire now. It will catch fire now. Shake, shake, Catch fire. Catch fire now. Every altar. Shake, Every altar. Catch fire. Catch fire now. Every altar against any family. Catch fire now. Hallelujah. Listen. Whoever has been marked for disfavor, that they say things cannot work for you or your family members, I remove that embargo of disfavor now. 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 Hallelujah. Hear me. Whatever the devil has stolen from your family, whatever the devil has stolen in your life, I stand as a servant of God. This one is going to hit many people. There are many families that need restoration. I will shout restore at the count of three. We're hurrying up, we're out of time. Father, let the wind and the angel of restoration move across this place. One, two, three. Take it, take it, take it, take it. I command restoration. I command restoration. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Restore. Hallelujah. Every yoke of academic failure, whether Wayek, whether Jam, some of you have not been able to enter the institution right now. I see fire. There are many of you, it's an embargo of darkness. You will feel like something jumping out of your head right now. I command yokes of academic failure. Be lifted now. 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 In the name of Jesus.
Hallelujah. Hear me. Some of you have struggled. Hear me. Some of you are Christians, but you have struggled with habits, masturbation, pornography. It's not like you are bad. You have been trying and trying to stop. It's eating your life, whether for you or for your loved ones. Right now, I pray that embargo of darkness. Sin shall not have dominion. And I pray, whatever spirit that sponsors that kind of life leaves you now. 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 Anyone here looking for a job, or your family members, they've tried, they've applied everywhere. My Bible says promotion comes neither from the east, nor the south, nor the west. I pray right now, let an anointing that will cause your destiny help us and that of your family members to locate you. May that anointing shoot you now. Take it. Take it. I command miracle jobs. Miracle jobs. Miracle jobs. In the name of Jesus. Those of us who are in business, or your family members are in business, I pray right now, in the name that is above all names, the Bible says, it shall be like a tree that is planted by the streams of water, which yields its fruit in season, and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever it do, it prospers. I pray right now. I command every business here, grow in the name of Jesus. Grow in the name of Jesus. Expand in the name of Jesus. Increase in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now hear me. Whatever trouble is in your family, some of you, your family is at the brink of divorce. Some of you, your father is not taking care of you. I don't care. Family problems, God is visiting them now. Every family problem. Because God marked this miracle service for families. Every problem. Satan is hiding behind the corner and joining the heads of people. At the count of three, be released. One, two, three. Families be free. Families be released. I command peace. I command prosperity. I command love. Every foul spirit responsible for the situation in family be lifted now in the name of Jesus. who have been destined to help you and take you to the next level of your life right now wherever they are destiny help us I call you into the life of God's people wine pressers and bakers show forth come forth And he went to the tomb of Lazarus. And Lazarus was dead four days. And he called him forth right now. Whatever is dead in your life and your family. I stand under this unction of God. And I pray. Whatever is dead. I command it right now. Let that which is dead hear the voice of the Lord. Come forth now. Come forth now. Whatever is dead, come forth now. Hallelujah. I release breakthrough into your life. Receive it. All kinds of breakthroughs. All kinds of breakthroughs. You are well favored. 
I pray for your spiritual life. Some of you, your spiritual lives are zero. No word life, no prayer life. Tonight, let a fire that not even you can quench. Fire, prayer, fire. Word fire. Take it. Take it. Receive it in the name of Jesus. A hunger for the things of the Spirit. Take it, take it, take it. A hunger to study the Word. Grace to be obedient. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hear me. The Bible says, Because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness, therefore God, even thy God, has anointed you with an oil of gladness. And the Bible says that oil puts you above your fellows. I pray for you. Wherever you go from today, let there be an anointing you cannot explain that will distinguish you. Let it distinguish you. Out of the crowd, let it distinguish you. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Any member of your family that is not born again, I pray. By the permission of the Spirit of God, let the angels of God look for them and bring them into the faith now. No matter how hardened they are, we call them born again now. We establish it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Father, I ask finally that everyone following online, everyone following here inside and in any of the overflows, everything that has made men mock God in your life, I am agreeing with you from the depth of my heart. I give you the next 13 days. Surprise them. Surprise them with the enviable results that will come from your life. Surprise your accusers. Surprise them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Shout it. Say in the name of Jesus. Tonight, I stand on behalf of myself and my family and I declare that every altar that is speaking against my destiny, I tear it down tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Separate from God for the past. I tear it down. All that of delay. All that of barrenness. All that of failure. Rakato Koto Melekes. Lepere Koto Koto Melekes. yourselves to two. Find, find a partner and hold a hand. Be serious, please. If the person by your side is not serious, leave him alone. Why are serious business tonight. Find a partner and hold a hand. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. 
every legal access I have given for these altars to speak against me knowingly and unknowingly tonight I invoke the blood let the blood speak lift your voice and begin to pray every legal access every legal access every legal access I have given any altar of darkness even the Lord who comes shall be delivered even the Lord who comes shall be delivered even the Lord who comes Hallelujah. Hold the hands of someone else. Look for another partner. Hold the hands of someone else. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. Altars of poverty. Altars of delay. Altars of failure. I speak to you. In the name of Jesus, I tear you down. Release my destiny. Release my destiny. All that of poverty. All that of delay. All that of stagnation. I speak against you. I speak against you. I call you by the God of heaven. By the God of heaven. Hallelujah. We are really praying tonight. I'm seeing blood dripping on people. God is bringing so many miracles in people. We are still praying, please. We are still praying. Shalapakaya. We are still praying. Skatabariasta. I see altars on fire. We are still praying. We are making real contact with the realm of the spirit. Hallelujah. 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 Say in the name of Jesus. Altars that are territorial in nature. Fighting my destiny. Because of where I'm coming from, I prophesy tonight your hold is broken over my life. Lift your voice and pray. All that associated with territories, associated with territories, I come against you by the God of heaven. I come against you. Pray, pray. I come against you. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please help those under the anointing. Hallelujah. Listen, there are some of you, your prayers were answered since many years. But it looks like it has not manifested because every time it's reaching you an altar, lift up. We are going to call it back. Are you ready to pray? Self time in the name of Jesus. Every delayed blessing that should have happened in my life and was delayed because of these altars tonight by prophecy I call you back to my life lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray and watch the God of wonders on Moriah the God of heaven and watch restoration happen in your head restore relationship restore financing restore money restore ministry Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are going to call the name of your family members. Listen. I don't care how many. Call it. Listen. You are going to call them one by one. And say I stand as an altar. And I bring you out of this dungeon. Lift your voice and pray. Call them. Call them. Call them. Mention them by name. Call them. I bring you out of this West Food City. Call them. They get the man out of my confidence. They get the man out of Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. Be serious. Say it again in the name of Jesus. I speak to the east. I speak to the west. I speak to the north. I speak to the south. Everywhere my favor is. In the name of Jesus. I command it to my life now. Lift your voice and pray. You don't have to travel. Call it everywhere it is.
Hallelujah. I want you to pray. Listen. I want you to pray and talk to God. Tell Him, Lord, I'm part of this apostolic family. The altar you have erected here must speak for me. I want my life to show it from today. Lift your voice and pray. Pray with understanding and watch what happens to you. Pray with understanding. Pray with understanding. Pray with understanding. Lord, I invoke the altar that you have with your servant. Pray with understanding. Pray with understanding. My people, for the most servant. Many of you may not realize what is happening to you. Please, I don't want you to idolize this teaching. No. It's not about religiosity. It's about proper understanding and application. So it's not just coming to lie down here. That, no, 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 no. The altar is a revelation. We are going to pray right now and activate back our prayer lives. Listen. Because many of us said the only time you pray is when you are together with people. Satan started attacking you. He gave himself a five year plan to attack your prayer life. He will never attack it at once. He can give himself a five year plan and be destroying you. Say in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that the spirit of prayer and supplication the grace to pray I receive it right now lift your voice and begin to pray fire fresh fire on my altar fresh grace to pray fresh grace Fresh grace to intercede. Fresh grace for warfare. I command every death prayer life around my life. Come back to life. Come back to life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One last prayer point and I will pray for you. There are many of us, the Spirit of God started revealing things to you because you were meeting with Him every day. But something happened, no more visitation of the secret place and that portal closed over your life. No access to illumination. You used to be, you used to have projects that you and God are on. You can literally say we are on a faith project. But now there's nothing like that. Your life has become stale and barren. Some of you is when you started ministry. This, this so-called thing called ministry. That's what destroyed you. We are going to pray a prayer of restoration. And the fire will fall upon you. I'd like you to pray. Say in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. Say Holy Spirit. I ask that you manifest yourself once again in my life. Holy Spirit, I cry for intimacy afresh with you. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Intimacy. Spirit of the living God, do not be far from me again. Pray. Pray. 
Let it not be that you are just a stranger. We were closer than this, and something happened. Hands. I tell you, there will be there will be testimonies upon testimonies. I pray for you now. I'm praying for you. In the name that is above all names. Everyone hearing me and standing here, whether inside or outside, you are praying. If there is any altar, as I speak now, that is speaking against your life, at the count of three, I command those altars to catch fire right now. Please get ready, the power of God will come on you. One, two, three. I command those altars now. I command those altars be broken. Be broken. Listen. Lift your hands. I'm challenging altars of failure. Listen. Just, I'm praying for you. Don't pray. Just listen to me. Because I'm seeing people here. Failure. It has nothing to do with academics. It makes you fail in everything. I stretch my hands. May that fire anyone here who is a victim, that altar is speaking. I stand by the rod of a higher priesthood and I judge those altars now. 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 By fire, I judge those altars now. There are altars that cause men to see things and never handle it. You see a job, they tell you it's yours. Quarter to reception, everything changes. I don't know who belongs to that category, but in the name of Jesus, the Inside and outside, following online, anyone who has been a victim. Of total failure and disappointment. Right now, in the name of Jesus, that fire comes upon you in the name of Jesus. That fire comes upon you in the name of Jesus. I command total deliverance. Help them, help them, please. Total deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ. Put down your hands. Ladies, keep your hands lifted. I will tell you why I'm praying for you. There are many ladies, let me tell you. Many people don't know why things don't work, especially for ladies. It's not because you are ladies, and it's not because you are bad. It's because many ladies are spiritually ignorant of what they represent in the realm of the spirit. A lady is not just another human being who is not a man. No, it's more than that. A lady is the chiefest point of entrance, even among men. That's why she has a womb. The only lady, a lady is a gate in the realm of the spirit. It's not just a human being. Keep your hands lifted. That's why demons look for them. That's why spirits look for them. That's why altars speak against them. It may not be caused by you, but I'm praying for you. Keep your hands lifted. You may not understand what is happening. Lord Jesus, I'm praying now. That any one of our sisters here, whose family and destiny is under siege, 
Mantele and declare anyone who made a covenant with the earth for your destiny, anyone who passed through fire to make a covenant with your destiny, in the name that is above all names, I decree and declare upon every lady now, be free in the name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus from those yokes, those yokes that cause fibroid, those yokes that cause fibroid, those yokes that cause lungs around your body, those lungs, those barrenness. I got it by the God of heaven. I got it by the God of heaven. Hallelujah. I'm seeing 11 ladies. The Lord is opening my eyes. Listen now. I'm seeing rings on all their 10 fingers. And this is a very serious demonic case. And the Lord wants to set them free now. You will not know it. It's not something you know. One of you used to see it. Physically, you see rings on your hands. In the name of Jesus. 11 people. Ladies especially. I'm praying now. Some are inside. Some are outside. Doesn't matter where you are. The Lord is asking me to stretch my hands. Lord, I pray, whoever came into this meeting, whether online or offline, and belongs to that category, in the name of Jesus, as I'm praying now, I command, I'm praying now, the fire will fall on certain people. Eleven in all I see. Lord, let it be right now. I, I break that marriage. I break that spiritual marriage. I break that spiritual marriage, my God, my God, my God, my God. I break that spiritual marriage. Satos Pesekela, Bratos to see Pariatas. There's one of them you should have married, but this is what stops everybody that comes around you. I command it broken right now. 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 Hallelujah. Our time is gone. The Lord is asking me to minister to someone here. Somebody comes to you in the night physically. I'm not talking of vision. Physically. You feel somebody lying down around your bed, sometimes sleeping with you. You are feeling it. This is not guesswork. This is something you know is happening. Wherever that person is, right now in Jesus' name. I stretch my hands. There is no escape. In the name of Jesus, whether inside or outside, you are in this category now. I command judgment. Judgment on any strange spirit. Judgment on any stranger. Judgment on any stranger. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please just, just be patient with me. I'm hearing in my spirit Yoruba people. Yoruba people, there is, there is something, a deliverance that God is bringing now to Yoruba people. You know how God acts as I'm speaking now. Everyone associated with that territory, I place the word of God now. In the name of Jesus, let that sword of deliverance, I command that double-edged sword to locate everyone from the southwestern part now who is in need of territorial deliverance. I command it now, inside and outside. In the name of Jesus, no escape. No escape for any power of darkness. Every mark of disfavor that is on anyone's life here. You watch what happens to your life from this meeting. 
anyone carrying any mark of disfavor where men should bless you something about you becomes an irritation I command that mark to be erased from your life now ah, I command that mark to be erased from your life now I command that mark to be erased from your life now I command that mark to be erased from your life now I command that mark to be erased from your life now I beg you just follow through with me if you believe that I hear God and if you believe we are walking by the Spirit I'd like you to pray hallelujah limitation I know a brother listen listen I know a brother that for many years this gentleman was so gifted but I'm telling you nothing was working in his life please hear me this is a true story very gifted but things were tied down hallelujah he did everything did everything that that he knew to do but when God made him know that these things are limitations he took a quality time of his life challenging it and brothers and sisters when he prevailed doors were open it was as if the blessings have left heaven but to now come to this realm Daniel remained in prayer please hear me anything that kills your prayer life has stopped you from your breakthrough it's not the issue of I'm called into the ministry of prayer or not. Forget that nonsense that the devil brings. Men ought always. Luke 18:1. He spake this parable. If you are alive, you don't pray because of fear. You pray because it's a spiritual transaction. It makes things possible in this realm. Hallelujah. We are going to pray one more time. And you're going to say, Lord, one more time. Visit this issue of limitation in my life and my family. Hallelujah. Listen, listen. Mention the aspect where you are facing limitation. Don't feel embarrassed. Mention them and say, Lord, let your fire come upon it. Lift your voice and pray. Koinonia, pray. Pray your way to breakthrough. Sopata, Peka, Repoto Pakata, Sente Teke Petekete, Suporia Tadaraba. We lift up an incense of prayer. 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 Change lives. Break limits. Financial limits. Support Sata. Intellectual limits. Marital limits. Job limits. We break it. Support Sata. We break limitations. Business limitations. Ministry limitations. Limitations of potentials. Hallelujah. Every time limits are broken, the Lord will bring a man to hold your hands and create the opportunity for the next level of your life. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Bishop Oyedeko will say there are days and there are certain days. May this night be the certain day. Listen. Your next level is in the hands of a certain man. The Bible says they wanted to kill Joseph, but a certain man came and they said they wanted to buy him. If not because of that certain man, they would have killed him. Are you following me now? The Bible talks about the man who was crippled. He could not carry himself. Certain men 
no name, they lifted him and opened the sea. Oh God, whoever is that certain man that must appear in my destiny, I com- I compel them to come. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice. Destiny help us. Financial help us. Spiritual help us. Man of influence. Man of access. Men that will connect us to our next level. Men that will connect us to our next dimension. Please pray. 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 Lord, we call them forth. Hallelujah. When Jesus died, Hear me, the prophet prophesied that his body will not see corruption. But he was hanging on that cross. There was no place to bury him. And a certain man came called Joseph of Arimathea. An influential man. If he was poor and broke, the king would not hear him. The Bible says a poor man's wisdom is despised. You are going to pray concerning your finances. Does it make sense to you to pray? We are going to pray and say, Lord, whoever must appear to change my financial destiny, I receive their ministry. Come on now, pray. Come on now, pray. Support the people. Time and chance happens to them all. Time and chance. Be the Cyrus or a son of the kingdom. We embrace their ministry. We embrace their ministry. So put the photos. I call them forth. Come on, pray. I call them forth. Men of influence. Kings, destiny help us, spiritual help us, financial help us, academic help us, men of influence, men who can talk to kings, pray. Hallelujah. Please leave your neighbor. Joseph would have died in the prison, although anointed. There are many people here, your anointing will remain dormant until God sends a man to see it, announce it, and let the world celebrate it. John the Baptist announced Jesus' ministry. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There are many of us, we have great ideas, great businesses. But there needs to be a certain man who will let the world know that great things are happening here. Please hear what I'm saying. There are many of you, your, your academic qualification is bigger than where you are. You have done your best. When you have done all you need to do, you need another man who is not you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Certain men. Certain men. It was the wine presser that told the king, he said, I know my wrongs this day. There is a man, oh, there is a man. Many of us have sharpened our spiritual potentials. You have sharpened your leadership potentials. It's not pride. You know that it's time to break forth. But the distance between you and the next level is that certain man. Lift up your hands. Oh God, where is this certain man? Let him come into my life. Come and pray one more time. One man to change your business. 
One man to change your ministry. One man. One man. Hallelujah. Listen to me. There are many of you here with great business ideas. Hallelujah. All you need is capital. You have done everything you should do. You need somebody to believe in you enough. Hallelujah. Listen. Truly, the race is not to the swift. And the battle is not to the strong. One man can announce what God is doing in your life. And bring to your life men who have been designed to honor it. I shared that scripture. To none of the widows in Israel was a prophet sent. God sent that to the one who could see his difference and honor him. Many of you have been in a place. You have potentials for the throne. But something is tying you down. Because you are hanging around people who cannot see what God is doing. Is God speaking to someone here? There are many of our parents with their qualifications. They should never have to beg. Even if, you, if the cost of living on earth is one million per day, they should not be begging. But they need one man to announce them. One man to recommend them. Please take seriously what I'm saying. Because this is somebody's prayer request. Oh Lord, if somebody can believe in my business enough to pump even if it's just 100,000 there. Are you getting what I'm saying? There are many of us in ministry here we are great people. This ministry you see today, we enjoy recommendations, mysterious recommendations. While I was coming, somebody was trying to call me again and again from the UK. And he was saying, man of God, don't ask me how I got to find out about you and have your number. He said, when a man is in trouble, he will look for help anyhow. Are you getting my point? While you are sitting down to sleep, Somebody is waiting others to talk about you, but you must activate it. It doesn't happen by magic. Are you getting what I'm saying? There are many professors and doctors being underutilized because there is a system that cannot honor what they carry. There are many of you who graduated with excellent results, you even added masters. And the king sent for Joseph. Somebody must send for you to lead the level that you have. And I prophesy, whoever should send for you in the name that is above all names. Listen, listen. There is a man of God, a popular man of God. I will not mention names. The man had the gift of God like whatever. But nothing could announce that grace. Are you hearing what I'm saying? People needed his anointing and his gift. But nobody could announce it. And then something happened. One day, he entered a taxi. True story. When he entered a taxi, the Holy Spirit told him, sow a seed of 30,000 naira to the driver. And he didn't have much. And he told the driver, take. And he sowed that seed. Ah! The driver looked at him and said, what will I give you? He said, nothing. He said, sir, can I collect your number? And he collected his number. Please listen to me. This is a true story. When he collected his number, the guy dropped. He said, Tom, may God bless you. He was feeling bad. He did not know that that was his moment of victory. Listen. The very next person that will enter that car, listen, they were part of the regional organizers of Redeem, the convention in the UK. Are you getting me? One of the regions. And then the man was talking and said, we are looking for a man of God to complete the ministers we are bringing. And we need men of integrity, you know. And the driver said, sir, there was a man that gave me his number. This guy is a true man of God. And that was it. I'm serious. They called him and they said, sorry, we are from this, this region of Redeem. I tell you, they brought that man after that ministration. There were so many men of God that he never would have been able to see. Are you getting my point? They all called him and said, we'd like you to come and, and minister. Mike Mudok met a young man who was very gifted. Gifted, but there was nothing working in his life. And Mike Mudok looked at him and came. 
and he said god told me to bless you he wrote 17 letters to different ministries and said this is an anointed man please open doors for him and the guy got 17 invitations everybody it does not take time to change your story what looks like a mountain is in the pocket of another person are you hearing what i'm saying are you tired of praying are you tired of praying because we must call them for i don't want to waste your time let me just share it i don't know if you share this testimony did you share your testimony Erima? i'm not sure you share this testimony maybe at an appointed time but let me say a bit of it what ambassador eh? unilever this come he just came back today we met together at the airport in abuja and then we came back together by the grace of god are you getting my point and by the ministry of just one great man prof hallelujah he has been selected as the ambassador of unilever nigeria are you, listen 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 the race is not to the swift they just came back from their training in lagos and we even bombed i was waiting for my luggage and i just saw him and they had told me he called me in lagos and he said he was around we never met how god can change a man's story my father worked for more than 10 or 15 years as assistant director of Michigan. there was no man to lift him his genius were rising and they, they they just trampled this man and it so happened that one man who used to be his junior he went when we went for crusade in 2006 six years he was the one who interpreted for me and he was also the one who interpreted for renard bonke when he came to joss he was that man on account of the kindness he went and said one or two things about my father and when they went to my father's um cd and all of that they said where has this man been they said immediately he should leave Joss and report to Lagos. He has been there for three years now. Many of us are praying, Lord, take me to the next level. I'm telling you the secret. You need a man. Hear me. There are things you cannot do for yourself. You may be anointed, but your grace will remain there until a man can announce. You may have a great business, a multi-million and billion dollar business. But it takes one man to believe in you and announce you. Are you getting my point? I know one of my friends. He was my classmate. Very intelligent and brilliant guy. This guy finished, saw that his education, there was nobody to speak for him. And this guy kept struggling for years. Nobody to speak for him. And one day I, I prayed, I said, Oh Lord, God help this guy. This guy has paid the price. Look, when I say, I, I think I will classify him as a genius. And I'm not telling a lie. But I know other people, before they even finish service, the road has been made plain. You need someone in your life. Please pray and say, Oh God, send this man that can believe in me and announce what you have invested in my life. Please pray. Send a man to change my music ministry, oh God. Send a man. Send a man into my family. The Lord, by the instrument of the prophetic, I call forth they that have been destined to take me to the next level, to take my family. Make sure you are praying. Lord, prophetically, pray. Those who will open doors of jobs, doors of marriages, doors of ministry, doors of anointings, doors of favor, doors of lifting, doors of success, doors of increase, doors of breakthrough. Make sure you are praying. Pray it with all your heart. Your family story can change. You have been praying and fasting. Could this be the message? Could this be the message? Pray. Say, Lord, whether in Lagos or Abuja or Kano or Zampara, the United States, the Caribbean, by the prophetic power of the Spirit, let there be a connection. 
orchestrate a meeting. Let there be a meeting. Pray, pray. God wants to take you from this level to another. It's a year of supernatural exploits. Exploits by the Spirit. Your story can change. Activate defining moments. Activate breakthrough in your life. Come on, prophesy. I call them. They are coming into my life from the north, the east, the south. I pray for E and I. Destiny helpers are coming. We receive them. We receive them. We receive them. We receive them. Hallelujah. Let me give you one little story. Look at me. When Professor Madi was the Vice Chancellor of Amadubello University, many of you did not meet him. There was a gentleman who did very well, but he did not get admission. Hallelujah. And the guy just went, for reasons he could not explain, he went and sat down near the Senate in the night. And Professor Madi had the culture of walking into students' hostels, walking around just to see what is going on. And when he walked, he saw the gentleman and he called him. He said, why are you sitting down here? He said, sir, look at my WIAC results. Look at everything. But my catchment area is not there and they didn't give me admission. He said, you are such a brilliant boy. Do you know what he told him? He said, go home and pack your load and come back. When he came back, they had printed his, admi- his admission letter. This is true. It's a confirmed story. Hallelujah. I know about a student who had been victimized for years till he was in 300 level. Whatever it is that happened, either his name or his matriculation number clashed. And what this guy was seeing was not his real CGPA. This guy would work so hard, but when the exams come out, he would not be. And then one day, someone just came in and for whatever reason, the person decided to start cross-checking things. The next thing, they put on the notice board that they wanted to see him. When they called him, they said he should go and bring his results and his courses that he registered. Do you know? True life story. When they, this guy was uh, maybe around 1.7 something, by the time they corrected everything, he was supposed to be in 2 1. In all sincerity, my cousin, my cousin was a student in this school. My cousin was a student in this school. He wrote a major exam that he got A. And when the result came out, they gave him F. This guy didn't know. He knew that he had, he had read. But you see, sometimes, even when you have the evidence, you don't have access to the king. There are many of us that have evidences that would wipe our night time. But that access to the king. Hallelujah. And one day God raised a visiting prophet who just came and he just complained and showed him everything. The man took on the case by himself until they rectified it. Look at me for a moment. What do you expect God to do in your life and in your family? It's in the hands of someone. It's in the hands of someone. That breakthrough is in the hands of someone. A house to complete for your loved ones to go to school. Let me tell you, no matter what it is, expand your mind tonight. There are men who are carriers of miracles. They don't even know. There are some of you that your loved ones need some jobs. They have been suffering. You know that they want to change where they are working or they don't even have a job. They are praying. They are applying CV after CV. If it is destiny helpers, they will accelerate your path. You will jump protocols. We are going to pray. Say, Lord, I receive discernment to see these people when they come into my life. Lift up your voice and pray. It takes discernment. It takes discernment. It takes discernment. Say, Lord, let me discern. They may not be my tribe. They may not be my friends. They may be the enemies of our family. 
for Lord grace to discern when you are about to use them to change our story. Hallelujah. Final prayer point. Now you are going to pray. And speak over your life. And tell yourself you are breaking through. And breaking forth on the left and right. Don't keep quiet. Please. Don't keep quiet. Prophesy. I break through. From the left. The right. The east. The west. Oh hallelujah. I activate breakthroughs. I establish it in the name of Jesus by the spirit of prayer. I contend against every power of darkness. Come on, pray. Pray against every satanic force. Pray against every power of darkness that wants to attempt to afford your breakthrough. God wants you to smile. God wants you to smile. God wants you to smile. He wants to encourage you. He wants your life to be fruitful. Satan get lost. Be lifted all ye gates. Let the family of Koinonia receive breakthroughs. I prophesy breakthroughs. Breakthroughs. Breakthrough. Financial breakthrough. Marital breakthrough. Family breakthrough. Academic breakthrough. Spiritual breakthrough. Breakthrough in your job. Let your family members smile. I provoke it from the realm of the spirit. I provoke it from the heavens. I activate the angelic. I activate the angelic. Let angels begin to move to every family. Let angels begin to move over your academic. Angels move over your finances. Angels move over your family. Angels move. I activate the operation of angels. Contend with the powers in the heavens and release breakthroughs for God's people. Let the angelic contend with the powers that delay, that stop people from entering their prophetic breakthroughs. I release breakthroughs. I release breakthroughs. I release breakthroughs. I speak it in your life. I send an anointing into your life. A breaker anointing. A breakthrough anointing. I send it into your life. I send it into your academics. I send it into your family. I send it into your finances. Those you do not know, I cause them to arise and help you. I cause them to arise and help you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands, everybody. Everywhere your gift is needed, I command them to begin to talk about you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I activate breakthrough for you. In the name of Jesus. Everywhere your gift is needed, whoever needs your gift in Nigeria, I stand as a servant of God. I command a connection in the realm of the Spirit, beginning from tonight, 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 in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I pray for every one of your family members looking for a job. My God and my King tonight. Let testimonies rise from this message. No matter how long, tonight, let someone talk to somebody. Talk to somebody and talk to somebody. And connect them for breakthrough. In the name of Jesus. For your family members. I command helpers 
those who will connect them to projects and contracts and opportunities. Yes, they don't merit it, but by the power of destiny help us, I connect them to the breakthrough for the next level. In the name of Jesus. Where you have tried academically, I connect you to help us. Professors who will help you. Admin staff who will help you. Admin staff who will help you. Members in the Senate who will help you. Whether for accommodation, whether for your results, whether for missing scripts, whether for your wayek, whatever it is. In the name of Jesus. As the Senate and the faculty board members meet over your results and your performance, may a strange man enter that meeting and advocate for you in the name of Jesus. Anywhere they want to turn down your family members or turn down anything, let a strange man come. We don't want to know the name. Let a strange call come. Let a strange connection come. I prophesy it. I release it to you in the name of Jesus. I release testimonies, testimonies, testimonies from this breakthrough experience. Beginning from tonight, I command calls from destiny help us. Calls from destiny help us. Calls from destiny help us. Connections with destiny help us. They will travel and come and meet you. You will meet them on the street. They will come to your homes in the name of Jesus. You will see them in your dreams. God will connect you. For every one of your family members that is supposed to be married and they are not married, the husbands or the wives, they are not in space. They are here on earth. Lord, we pray tonight as a family by the power that is in the name of the resurrected Christ. I pray, let help us lead partners to their place in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. We command supernatural marital connections in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We bind every devil. We bind every power that attempts to cause delay. We set them free from every curse and every yoke of bondage. Be released in the name of Jesus. Ministry of Destiny help us all through this week I want you to pray cry out and say Lord bring them I believe you will hear fearful testimonies in this place as a result tonight I have shown you a very mighty secret don't forget it too soon hold it every time you are praying over something the answer is in the hands of another person Stop beating about the bush. Every man and every authority can answer when God calls. Yours is just to pray that God will connect you. Praise the Lord. Mercy is a weapon and you are about to use it now. Ha! And he told me Joshua the high priest standing before the Lord and the accuser came before him attempting to raise accusations and he said is this not a reed that I have taken out of fire and he said the Lord rebuke you listen the mercy of God is a weapon you can use it and say Satan Satan I know you are supposed to destroy me but what about this I present to you the mercy of God I present to you the blood of the eternal covenant I present to you the advocacy of Jesus at the right hand of the Father standing and speaking I present to you the sinless blood I present to you Calvary Speak of God invoke mercy invoke mercy Oh, 
Listen, listen, listen. Listen. When you activate this, you will find out that no longer will there be an accusation to say, oh, you once in, were in the world, you committed 19 abortions and blood is speaking and that's why your life is not moving. It should not move. But now that you have invoked mercy, it makes the cause causeless. That means it should not come again. Are we together? You stole money. Help them, please. And all of that, you destroyed another person's destiny. But, but now that you are in Christ, what of the blood? He showed me Joshua the high priest. Please take seriously. This is what I did for my own life, so let me tell you. For we rise to our access to mysteries in the kingdom. I want to pray for you. But we are going to pray one more prayer point. Hear me. And say, I begin a new order. A new order. Dissociated from the past. Alienated from witchcraft, and the causes and laws. But your deliverer is coming. Your deliverer is standing down. Your deliverer is coming. Your deliverer is standing down. One more time. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing down. Alan, 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 Alan,